Hi everyone, Wood Spooner here, and you just made it to the conference finals. And Son of Beast here. This is the time that we are about to be doing the final two teams for the Eastern and Western Conference. Last team that wins this conference matchup will be heading to the finals for the final game of the NBA postseason. Who do you think will be? There may be one team for the Eastern Conference champion and Western Conference champion. Let's find out who will take in for the finals. Here we go. Game starts now. One of the biggest legendary, Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history, plays for every other team in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics, Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering this better defensive set? That's the question. They're looking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball. In, in, in so long and I'm so passionate and I love the game and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang so all my emotion came out at one time was it the right way to do it no but I can't control that when I'm out there competing like that's my love of the game that's raw me me at my finest me at my purest that's what you're gonna get I'm not gonna take it offense it's not personal Jimmy you shouldn't have done that yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in I don't know how long. I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of the each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is the playoffs. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. And we we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes. I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So. You know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason. I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Uh, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know, Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, 
It's a hard ride. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player, has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al. Al is willing to do everything. And somebody at this, at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot, but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they could try to protect it from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics, but there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams, but the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backboard and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports.
Hello everyone, it's Son of Beast here on Woods Birdie Hound. This is where we are taking a look at the first look of the Eastern Conference Finals. As we're about to be seeing this great matchup between Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. Since last postseason, they've already get been playing in so many games. But this wasn't happen until 2022 was the Celtics that beat Miami Heat in the number one spot. But all that happens to be change off for this angle turned to be what game is. Because the Boston Celtics have already sweeped out the Indiana Pacers. But this question is that happened last year with Jimmy Butler that had streaked in ends game seven in Boston. Now here's a price. What's going to happen if there is another change off to look for? There might be what they are calling with. They need to get somebody out there after all. And now for some question, I have Clover sending him by. All right, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, it's been a great one for the matchup, but Eastern Conference is definitely in. You really have to just enjoy it for yourself. Now for your time, sir. How does Boston Celtics and Miami Heat play like that? Well, they played really good. They're tired now. Miami Heat has been really like a hot team here. Underdog team. So I'm thinking, I think the Celtics are going to keep on going and go back to the finals again. Well, we'll see how well they do. And are you excited for the Eastern Conference Finals? Yes, I am. I am really excited. This is going to be my lucky day for this game. Now I'm standing by, I have is Brian Anderson along with 2K Sports Group yeah. and Ali LaForce is on the sideline for tonight's game. Time to get settled. Terry Roger the third with Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Hybrid Osmith, and Bam on the bio. And for you, Clover, for the Boston Celtics. Drew Holland, Derek White, Jalen Brown, JT, also known as Jason Tatum, and KP for Chris Stapps, Porzingis. It's game time! Conference Finals begins now! Here we go! Enjoy the game, folks! Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the Conference Finals. And those are the starting lineups. So kick back, get your popcorn ready. We'll be back in just a moment. And now Two K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. Everybody, this is Brian Anderson, and with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Ali LaForce. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier, then it's Pam Adebayo, and it's Heisman in the power forward. And for Boston, right in Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed in matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. It'll be the heat off the tip. Now Rozier. Pass to Butler. Tipped away, and stolen by Porzingis. Here's Brown. Oh, nice. Jalen Brown! Brown's the guy you want finishing a break. Now here's Rozier. Hero outside. To the middle. And Porzingis with the block. White, outside Tatum. Back to White. Here's Porzingis. Chris Porzingis! When you start your career with Coach Popovich, you either make the next pass or you don't get mids. Here's Rozier. Tatum pulls it in. 
and so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. The last time these two teams came together was also in this building, and they were able to win it for the home fans. They flat out dominated the last time these teams squared off, particularly on the glass. They generated second chance opportunities on one end. Aaron Point! Story of the game. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively, put the defense back on his heels. Out of Io. Good D by Porzingis. The Celtics have gone three and three so far from the floor. And talking about Bam out of Io, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense, baby. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. Bam's Jimmy Butler is really contagious on this end. There, they get it going. One for four now. Always feel good to get that first one. That's the Tatum. Back to Holiday. Here's White. That one's there is White. White's got a second bucket on the night. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday staying very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Now here's Butler, taking command on offense when they need it, putting up 21 a game. Ooh, he took a hard foul. Double stop. Chris Apple's Aegis gets four to push low First team foul. Jimmy Butler poses so many issues with defenders for Miami. Toughest thing Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this Alliance team? Switching he shots. is hard, and the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort, and coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. The first free throw is good. Smitty, when you look at the Heat bench, there's been one constant presence for years now. B.A., his name is Eric Spolstra. He's been pacing that sideline since 2008. That's a rarity these days. It speaks to the success Coach Spo has had there. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Here's Holland. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. Smart! And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Rosier outside. Pass to Adebayo. Goes back up. And that's two yeah, points on the layup. The confidence continues to grow off the board. Adebayo takes it right back up. Side holiday to the paint. Here's Tatum. And the shoot. Jason Tatum! He's got three assists now on this one. And Drew I think the goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Outside Tatum. There's the triple. hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high ball. Timeout, Miami here. Miami decides to talk it over. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor, or you're going to struggle big time. The reason why, that opens up driving lanes, makes it dangerous for teams to W in the post. The offense becomes more dynamic. You know the worst thing about that? I always like He's been doing really well just trying to finish that month. He gave you six in the last postseason. It just happened to be where they were all expecting him. They all really cheered him on, so they tried to stop their run here with the underdog team. They had that one coming up for him. You know, I was always saying to him before, you know, that when I go right, I always give him a great credit for Miami Heat. They played really well. Just going on for a higher rank than that, you got to make sure you have it all settled in there. Get right to the point. Hey, by the way, you still have that one here, participation. I can always say now that Jimmy Butler, John Mazula, and Aaron Spolstra, they're probably a great coaches here for Eastern Conference Showdown. 
between those two. I was really hoping that they might be playing in for once. Well, let's hope that we can do this one again. That way, they'll have it fun. Now let's send back to Brian Anderson. Here in our first quarter, let's get back to it. Real stats, real scores from the real NBA. These are the teams dominating the offensive glass this season. In the third spot, the Celtics. They're having success because they're sending multiple guys to the offensive glass. Hard to block out everyone. Hero for three. Very solid. Hero. This is why Hero is a volume three-point shooter. He's so effective from deep. Holiday against Rozier. Holiday. Here's Tatum. That was Jason Tatum. Basket of the night. Drew Holiday. Nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Pass to Rozier from deep. Austin with a rebound. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. You have to credit the game plan going in. Especially Jason Tatum. They knew that the arena. Execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could fly down this hostile crowd. Hero, no good. The Celtics with the lead. On the wing, Tatum. Outside, White. Left side, Tatum. Pass to Porzingis. Not good at all. Now here's Hero. Inside. And out of bio. Bam, out of bio. 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 Out of Outside White. Back to Holiday. Outside Tatum. Here's White. The open J off the mark. And so Hero will bring it up for the Heat. Eight point game. Outside Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Add that to yeah, his Adebayo. Three for six. Oh, this this is the versatility Jimmy and Butler. This is what makes Jimmy Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Two minutes. Brown scanning the floor. Holiday against Rozier. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. That's what I always like to say. Offseason, what do you always expect? Because that move was really what they expected to see. Just that he could definitely handle it. You know, I always say the pressure of it just happens to be anybody's game. And it's great what I have on. I get right into the point. You know, a lot of the fans really love it. They really expected that they could play it just like they did. All that happens now, they can definitely try to keep on going. Exactly. So changes here. Oh, the show for the Salt Horses. And it's Horford in Brown. A different Al Horford. Right, the pass to Jovic. Here's Hawkins. Knocks down Jamie, the triple. I like that pass for Duncan Robinson. Keeping his eyes up. Duncan Robinson. His options open. Pass to Tillman. Back to Holiday. White with it. 114 left in the first. White. White's got six. The Heat have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Here's Hawkes. To the 
inside. Jovic, laid it in. Nice Jovic. touch off the window. Assist. Good execution. Pockets, Junior. Some short range looks here. Austin has gone two of two at the perimeter. Out left to the wing. Tillman passes to Tatum. Now here's White. Robinson defending. Outside Holiday. Talk about scoring the basketball. Legit player. Holiday got paid because he can play. Inside. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. White to three. Right with the board. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. And here's Martin. No points yet. Spacer due to his shooting. Jerry Martin knows his now let work and plays it well. Down the line, two. two. Side. 
pass to Hauser. Now Brown, pocket six. And they get it back. Here's Hauser. Over Robinson. Kick out to Brown. Porzingis with it. Here's Hauser. Robinson defending. Hauser can't get it to go. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Outside Richardson. 4 3. That won't go. This is his first shot of the game. And they just built this lead by attacking the doors. Pass to Pritchard. Let's the three fly. He and Pritchard! For three! He's really becoming a yeah. Brown player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Rogier pass to Butler. And here's Richardson. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Here's Pritchard. Here's Horford. Charity strike shot. Jumps and Pritchard! Yeah, the now Horford. Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Here's Rozier. And Porzingis with the block. Finds Horford, shoots over Robinson. Horford can't hit. The Heat have got two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Rozier, the pass to Adebayo, to the paint. And that's out of bounds. Miami ball. And the Heat back on the board. And it's Hero in for Richardson. Checking back on the court, Haywood Heisman and Tyler Hero. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Brown passes to Pritchard. It's Brown on the wing. A chance to draw one off you. At the line, line for Boston Celtics. Caleb Brown. Two shots. special is his blend of smarts and effort level. Not just an intelligent player, he also gives you a phenomenal amount of energy out there. If one then misses the second attempt from the line, and Grant with the idea of league expansion, some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in its working place for talent, and there's definitely the depth for more teams. Passes to Adebayo. Good. Yeah, Adebayo Adebayo Adebayo. Takes the assist. Butler's got his third assist of the night. Beautiful Adebayo location Adebayo. on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brad, the NBA is the last of the five major U.S. pro leagues to sign a new TV deal with the existing one concluding after this season. Now talks are heating up, and the new deal expected to include traditional cable networks along with some streaming channels. Guys, one thing seems clear, it should amount to a big raise for the league and for its players. Interesting point. You don't like that. Thanks, Allie. 
Miami Crawl to the line for two. Uh, and really a foul on that shot. That's his first personal foul. Porzingis, the second team foul. Really makes defenses settle for fouling. The line for Austin Celtics. Great stop, Porzingis. Shooting the two. Holiday's checked in for Hauser, and Miami also making a switch. Jovic, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. No free throws good from Porzingis. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots. Oh, wow, that's foul number two for him. Tillman's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. Wright's checked in for Miami. Checking back for the Boston Celtics. Hero outside. Tillman Sr. And Derek White. that time either. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Tyler Hero, not one of those guys. He believes in himself. And this team believes in him. Whether it's a timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish, Tyler Hero makes winning plays. Now here's Brown. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. Here's Horford. Ah, Horford! The value of a big man, all, yeah. Horford's quickness, can't be overstated. He takes full advantage of the rebound opportunity. Right from the arc. And a great the assist by Warriors. Right. That one goes. For three. Wright's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Pass to Brown. Over Butler. Rebounded by Jovic. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid range. It's Wright on the wing. He's checked in for Jason Tatum. He's checked in for Jason Tatum. Check it back on his head. Takes the Jason Tatum. Now right. Pass to Jovic. Count it. Count it. Count the Celtics. Timeout. And we Celtics. We all hear what goes on in those huddles. We just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. This team is coming down, back down by eight. And we're expecting what's going to happen if there is another change on. Mm, I better see if there's another change ever. Sweet. I thought I really want that picture hates the NBA paints. I really It's fantastic. And that's right now as we're nearing the end of the first half. We got uh, we got another take over here as we have a first look at the appearances, and we're getting ready to have a halftime show coming up. That will be later, or after this uh, first half game has been complete, and we're ready to see what goes in the take. But there's a lot of chances, effort to have an ability playable on their opportunity range to net. It's going to be all the games here that's coming up right after this. First half completion with Ernie Johnson, Katie Jet Smith, and Shag O'Neill. It's all gonna be great, so you're gonna love that one. Better takes it out. Yeah, I really like to see what's going on. to check the real stats, real scores from the real NBA and see the teams leading in three-point shooting. Boston in second. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. All right, the pass to Tillman. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Miami's ball. Miami's Miami ball. ball. Miami trailing. 
here's Hero. He had a fifth. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Let's it go from deep. Goes back up. And he takes it up. And lays it in. Jovic just got six points. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Right against Holiday. Pass to Tatum. From behind the arc. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. To the left wing. Here's Jovic. The rebound, Celtics. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's White. Oh! Hey, White White. Finish. I really like the toughness and effort White brings to the game. Nice playoff contact. Right outside. left in the first half of this game. Tatum passes to Brown. For three. And it's it's for three. Point Boston lead. With his feet set, Tatum's going to make you pay. Right, it gets white. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the second quarter. And here's Wright from the arc. They grab their own miss. Butler. Good work defensively by White. Leading right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Tillman passes to Tatum. Oh, Jason Tatum! Tatum! He tries to try to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. I mean, he's a dangerous player there on the inside. Tyler, so you know, just you know, understand how to four. generate points. He's one of them. That's so the end of the first half. The Boston Celtics, Celtics. And 45. And stood out Miami Heat, 35. Now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, Jason, you won't believe going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the ass, uh, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let us uh, put up the gas a little bit, so uh, we got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Jones and alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, 3 rebounds, and 1 assist. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. They've really established themselves in the glass. Being down with theirs has been extra possessions, which they've cashed in. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Well, it's never fun. You play against the team that's on fire. This team is on fire. They showed an effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shoot. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Setting the floor for Miami. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Heisman. And the force. And Rowe! shooter. All Brown needs is acceleration, and he's ready to pull up. Rozier outside. Hero on the wing. 
launches a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. And I'll tell you what, they rebounded the ball tremendously well. Pass to Taylor. Now Holiday. Outside Tatum. Five to shoot. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Now here's Butler. The three. Boston with a rebound. Porzingis has got his fifth rebound of this one. Pass to White. Holiday up top. Good. Holiday stays focused, eyes on the rim. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. It's deflected. Starting to have with three straight misses. Now how they envisioned this one. Brown passes to Holiday. Here's Tatum. He's got 19. at the rim. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Pass to Holiday. It's good. Yeah. to a lot of easy buckets here. Now a timeout call by Miami. Oh, protecting the rim it has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals of 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't let flight prevent it. AT&T, connecting changes everything. And by State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tomorrow night will be happening with Game 7 as the winner will be moving on to the conference finals to face against the Dallas Mavericks, the fifth seed of the team. After this game is complete, it'll be in between the Thunders or the Timberwolves. I'll be on the other side of the game for the presentation to start things over. That'll be all the games up ahead, only on 7 beats. Back to Brian. Celtics making a switch here. Warford's checked in. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Robinson comes in for Hero. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Heat. Nothing yet for him here in the third quarter. To halt the run. Here's Adebayo. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number five here tonight. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Back to Holiday. White on the way. Robinson defending. Pass to Porzingis. Got a hand on it. Miami ball. Number 13, Bam on the bio. The second personal foul. First team foul. There's the line for the Celtics. Chris that Porzingis. Two shots. Free throw is good.
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Miami has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to Adebayo. They get back on track. Man, Adebayo. Adebayo. Nice review there by Adebayo. Physical tone for this team. Warford with it. Can't cash it in from close range. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, and a five and a half. Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum, second first goal foul number two for him. First team foul. Down low. Here's Robinson. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Gotta be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Oh, had a Very nice look at you right there. Rozier's got his early. first three points of the game. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Holiday looking for an opening. White for three. Shooting one. Free throw good. Robinson. From undrafted to a vital role player, Duncan Robinson has become one of the game's most lethal three point shooters. Here's Pritchard. He's got five. And stolen by Adebayo. Robinson with it. Now Horford defending, and it's Robinson penetrating. Tatum pulls it in. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Tatum. 23 points in the game. And here's Horford for three. Rebounded by Jovic. Miami's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. He shoots it. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Richardson's got his second basket on the night. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. For the Celtics. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Horford. A minute 37 left in the third quarter of the game. Six to shoot. Tatum passes to Horford. Late clock. The Celtics got a hurry here. Here's Robinson. Here's Jovic. He's guarded by White. Jovic's shot is off. And here's Tatum. Impressive scoring stats with around 27 points a game. Now, Horford! Tatum, Jason Tatum. 
or do it all himself. But now he wants to keep everybody involved. Here's Hawkins. He's guarded by White. Pass to Robinson. Lots of room. The rebound, Celtics. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Horford with it. Back to Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Here's Horford, and he drives in. Oh, Horford! Tatum's got three assists in the game. He had no answer defensively inside. Outside Robinson. The three gets the three. three Robinson. Robinson. Robinson's got Four, seven three. points here in the quarter. Lackluster defense. He's showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside White. Pass to Tillman. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Here's Robinson. This is That's the end of the third quarter. Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics. 17 in the period. Miami Heat. Work down low. Getting in close and scoring in bunches. We'll be back in a moment. Just can't even believe Kristaps Porzingis rejecting the shot. This is a crazy game. Hey, you never mess up a KP, but that's how you do. Best defensive effort? You can't let it get away with that. Fourth quarter coming up next, right after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs of the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Drew Holiday. Then it's Jalen Brown, then it's Chris Allen, and it's Hauser in the power forward position. Right. Who's in the game for the Celtics? Boston has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Outside Porzingis. Pass to Hauser. Oh, it's stolen by Butler! Goes here outside. Now Butler, the three is up. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Hauser. Over Butler. Hauser. That's good. Hauser. Hauser's got his first points in this one. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Got a piece of it. And for Miami, they're shooting just under 40% from the field. Rozier from outside. Harry Rozier the third. After putting up the zeros in the first three. half, he is making up for it big time now. Pass to Hauser. And here's Holiday. Here's Hauser. Shot clock at six. Here's Pritchard. And Hero grabs the board. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Oh, Hero. Strong with a one-handed jam. Hero produces across the board. Some guys have potential. Others just get it done. Out to the wing. Pass to Pritchard. Now here's Brown. Here's Pritchard over Rozier. Pritchard. Hey, hey, Pritchard! Take those kinds of shots. Yeah, he's right. absolutely lethal from there. Left side, Robinson. And there's 
Duncan, long and set. Talk about making halftime adjustments. We love what they're doing with him now offensively. Outside, Brown. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. That's the hero. Let's it go for the wing. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Holiday. Some solid defense from Butler. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a team. Butler. You know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Right There's Pritchard. After the basket by Miami. Back to Holiday. Stolen by Hero. Pass to Rozier. Hey, Rozier. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Carton with now, uh, the bucket. Martin. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? The Celtics have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Richard outside Brown. Becoming very confident in this shot. Ooh, took a look at it all I don't know what Coach told him at halftime. But he is shooting the lights out right now. Holiday against Hero. Here's Hauser. The pass to Hauser. Some solid defense from Butler. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand. Okay, the ball. Robinson. He's a new man this half. He's playing with much better intensity and in getting results. And the Celtics. Timeout. Celtics. Coach really needs to get his guys fired up and attacking the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight, and it's led to way too many second chance shots. Just a better take over right now, but we're nearing down the end of a fourth quarter. We'll give you a quick break, and then we'll get right into this to keep it going. Just going to be alive down there in the first game, and then come back for the second game. Just all hands here. Keep it all what you have got. All right, got a little bit of closing right now. We're getting ready to have a new balance player in the game. Let's get back into it. Brian, all for you. Passing on to present the new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Hey, guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzullo's huddle. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up, continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's White on the wing, Tatum. Defensive foul on Miami. Haywood Heights Smith. That's his first personal foul. First, 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 first team foul. The line three. for the Celtics. Jason Tatum. One shot. And that one falls for Tatum. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. Pass to Robinson. Plenty of space. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's well, got six assists here on the line. Stolen by Rozier. Right side, Robinson. Shoots over White. Robinson can't hit. I love their work on the glass. They hold a nice rebounding advantage. Outside, Brown. Back to Tatum on the wing, Holiday. 
inside. Robinson with a steal. Pass to Butler. Oh, misses the dunk. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. 22 is the Every bit of his toughness, White's able to convert through contact. And so here is Miami. The Celtics making their last shot to the paint. Here's Rozier. And Porzingis. Out of bounds. And it goes out of bounds. Miami ball. And off Porzingis. for Jason Tatum. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. Now here's Porzingis. Pass to Pritchard. Outside White. And the three off target. Miami has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Butler passes to right. Back to Butler. up with the strike. That's good. On Jimmy the Great idea from Jimmy. The mid-range is normally open in today's NBA. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. Back to Pritchard. Violation. Miami shot off in time. Butler with the ball. Pass to right. The three ball. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Final score, Boston Celtics, 87, Miami Heat, 74. So shown here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Jason. This team is on a roll. Plenty of energy on the sidelines. How much fun are you having out there? Uh, we think it's fun. Uh, you know, hopefully we can keep it up. Especially at home. Uh, you know, we don't want to let our fans down. We have the best fans in the league. They give us all the energy in the world. So, uh, you know, we appreciate that. Doing it for the fans. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Ali LaForce, 
This is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. All right, Brian, thank you so much for your time, effort, and the first game has been complete for the conference finals, but we, there's a lot more games to go as Boston Celtics start off the chain off for the Eastern Conference Finals for the 2024 of the playoffs. Here's how it did with the total statistics. It was 64 field goal range for the Boston Celtics, and it was 36 three-pointers here for the Miami Kite. Just turned it really okay, though, but 58, that's a lot. And it was 86, 86% uh, for the free throws for Boston Celtics with fast break points of 12 and 44 points in the pint. 11 second chance points and 36 punch points was Miami Cat. And it was 28 assists. Boston Celtics definitely did it again. 11 offensive rebounds for Miami Cat. 32 defensive rebounds for Boston Celtics. 8 steals for Miami Cat. And it was 9 blocks for the Boston Celtics. And it was 11 turnovers, 14 fouls for Miami, and 6 dots. Definitely did well that they did. Then it was 22 biggest lead of the night for Boston Celtics, with 17-43 for time of possession. You know how it happens now? Anybody's going for Boston Celtics, the number one seed at time of the 2K Sports. Yeah, I always get to say what's going to happen now, but I... Can't, but I can't tell you now, but that happens to be what they all expected for Boston Celtics to start things over. They really love to have their advantage with the win. But as for a long as being now, I guess there is, might be another way that can try to handle it all. Yeah, especially Trevor. Now it's time for three star players of the game. I start with you, Clara. You go first. Alright, thank you so much. Third star, I'm going to try to take it over here. With Kristaps Porzingis, he finishes off five blocks with two assists. He only had 12 points this game, only 9 rebounds, 4 out of 6 field goal range, and he had definitely had gotten one dunk with 17 performance. That's the best game I've ever seen, playing it for his better curriculum scores and rejection of the night. I really love his effort. Alright, thank you so much, Jake Glover. And right, now for number 2, Silver Spoon. Nope, Wood Spoony, you're up. Derek White with 16 points with only 3 rebounds, he only had done 3 assists. Had that one with the crazy look effort with 7 out of 10 field goals, 2 3 pointers out of 4, and it was 23 performance effort that he has finished it and completely did for the best as he did. He's doing really well for it, but hopefully, keep it on coming, it's going to be a next one to keep on, on the next games ahead. And for your number one star, son of ace, well, I gotta say now, the better player at the, my favorite is goes into the to the top star of the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum, with 26 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 11 at 13 field goal range with 3 three-pointers out of uh, 4 three-pointers, then it was 32 performance effort. I can't believe Jason Tatum, he's on a process right now. He's on a start of to the first game. But then you'll be getting to rest things up and get ready for the second game after the upper game of the second round in Game 7. That's going to be happening on the other side pretty soon. Yeah, I know. Like, I guess uh, we'll have to see what's going on with the other ones. In the meantime, that's it for this game. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, my channel will be down in the link in the description here, so I'd like to thank you all for supporting for my channel here, and just a couple more years, sorry, everything's going to start changing here, because we're adding something new, because of this one, this is what the game will be, right here. And in the meantime, thanks for joining us here, and hopefully we'll see you all again, for the tomorrow night's game, of Game 7, of the Thunder Spacing on the Timberwolves. Well, let's hope that might be a great game, too, so, yeah, I'm all looking forward to that. Thanks for joining us here, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports of the Eastern Conference Finals. Thanks for watching, and peace out. So long in Boston, Massachusetts. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.